Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to the Nursing Virus YouTube channel. This is me Loganathan. In this video, we are going to see some of the major important topic that is the various abnormal color and appearance of our normal body secretions we are going to discuss on today's class. This is the much major important point in our nursing exams. If you are reviewing the previous year question papers without this question you cannot see any question paper at least they might be covered one of this area for the mcqs questions in all the government exams as well in the private examination which they are conducting for the nurses recruitment on this today's class we are going to see or we are going to cover the topic related with the amniotic fluid stool urine sputum vaginal discharge under the vaginal discharge especially for that lochia area semen, cerebrofinal fluid and nail appearance and as well the various discoloration indicating for which disorder we are going to see and so far if you are not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you will get all the notification related with that nursing examination and as well the job notification around the India. Let's come, we will go for the today's discussion. Here are the first topic the abnormal color of amniotic fluid so this is a very very important topic when you are taking for that nursing site under that obg here i given that various colors indicate of which disorder the first one if the amniotic fluid is looking as golden yellow that is indicative for rh incompatibility and if it is indicating for green color that may be indicated for meconium stain or breach presentation or intrauterine growth retardation and suppose if you are going for that greenish yellow or saffron color that is indicating for post maturity and it is completely red color mean that is concealed accidental hemorrhage and port wine the fetal distress or it may be indicated for abruptio placenta and if it is indicating for dark brown color or tobacco juice that is maternal tissue trauma or fetal death that is an intrauterine death so these are that disorder commonly they were asked in the previous examinations also second one the abnormal appearance of stool so here the rice watery stool indicate cholera and ribbon like stool indicating for Hirschsprung disease this is one of the common disorder among the children's and red jelly stool that is intersusception and pea soup or green stool that is on the typhoid or enteropathic E. coli infection of the infant children's the pencil like stool can be seen on the carcinoma of colon and clay color stool can be seen on the post hepatic jaundice and black terry stools that is for the esophageal varices so these are the different abnormal appearance you can see among the stool and these are the specific disorders and third one among the urine color for the different urine color it indicates of which disorder i have given on the color also i have mentioned so here the first one colorless chronic renal failure or in the case of diabetes mellitus and the next one in case of red color that is presence of RBCs or hemoglobin or blood and the dark wine color that is hemolytic jaundice on in the black color it indicates for alkaptouria that is for the black urine disease and the next one if it is indicating for orange color that is for that rifampicin drug that is one of the anti tuberculin drug when you are administering the orange color urine you can see or it may be indicating for ingestion of too much vitamin A that is carotenoids and the next one for the port wine color urine indicate for prophyuria and smoky urine if you are seeing that is presence of RBCs or in case of acute glomerulonephritis and some of the important terminologies so far they have asked in the examination that is for the WBC presence in the urine indicating for pyuria and RBC in the urine that is considered as hematuria and the fourth one abnormal appearance and color of the sputum indicating for which disorder 
the first one viscid and yellow color sputum indicating for the some of the some of the infectious condition that is that bronchitis or bronchiectasis and rust color sputum that is indicating for pneumonia and mucoid and white color sputum can be seen in the especially asthma or tuberculosis or even the purulent and green color sputum can be seen on the asthma and lung abscess or clear and watery or a blood stained sputum can be seen on the pulmonary edema if it is only pleasant with the blood sputum that is indicating for pneumonia or tuberculosis or bronchiogenic carcinoma so these are the various problem in sputum and the disorders and fifth one abnormal color of the vaginal discharges in case of females if it is bloody or brown color discharge that is irregular menstrual cycle or cervical or endometrial cancer if the discharge is cloudy or yellow color that is indication of gonorrheal infection or if it is fourthy yellow or greenish with bad smell that is a trichomonasis infection and if it is pink color that is for the indication of lochia which is shedding of the uterine lining after the childbirth so this problem can be seen with the postnatal period and the next one thick or white chassis that is for yeast infection and white gray or yellow with fishy odor can be seen with the bacterial vaginosis on the examination so far this two area majorly they have covered most of the time so the next one the color of the lochia so this is the condition can be seen after the childbirth with the different days the color of lochia can be differ the first one the lochia rubra that is the period between 1 to 4 days after the immediate childbirth that is can be seen with the reddish color and the lochia serosa between 5 and 9th days it can be secreted that can be seen with yellowish discoloration and lochia alba that is the 10 to 15 days that color indicate for the pale white color indicating for lochia alba so this is also highly important in the examinations so the next one about abnormal appearance of the semen in case of male the first one aspermia that is a complete lack of semen and the next one asospermia that is absence of sperm and teratospermia the presence of abnormal sperm and asthenospermia that is absence of sperm motility and the next one hematospermia the presence of blood cell in the ejaculation and the next one pyospermia or leukospermia high amount of wbc can be seen with the semen so this area were covered in the even aims and as well in the gipmer examination in the many exams they have covered at least one question from this area the eighth one the abnormal color of csf fluid that is a cerebrospinal fluid the derboid color that is a bacterial meningitis in case of brown color that is for meningeal melanomatosis and yellow color hyperbilirubinemia and orange color indicating for high carotenoid intake or hemoglobin breakdown products hypervitaminosis a so these are the reason for changing the csf fluid color and the next one the abnormal the shape or color of the nail so here blue nails where the person not getting the adequate amount of oxygen blood supply to the entire body that is known as cyanosis and white color nail can be seen with the liver disease and diabetes and pale nails can be especially seen with the anemia condition and half pink half white nails can be seen with the kidney disease and yellow color nail can be seen in the lung disease and some of the nail infections 
and dusky red half moon shape can be seen with that b lumps or the heart disease or alopecia areata or arthritis or even maybe and blue half moons can be seen with the specific sign of in the poison so these are the some of the important nail color and shape of the nail indicating for which disorder this is also important in the exam point of view on today's class we have discussed the various appearance and color of the our body secretion the important areas we have discussed thank you for joining with me if the video is informative you can like and share and don't forget to subscribe my channel for getting all the updates related with the nursing examination thank you